with these simple ingredients, we're gonna make a creamy chicken mushroom spinach pasta dish in under 30 minutes. Start by getting all the ingredients ready to be cooked. I'm going to begin by using the dash safe slice to slice up the mushroom. I love using the dash safe slice, link to purchase in the description, because it's really fast for slicing up a lot of mushrooms or any other vegetable you have a lot of to slice. Then take one pound of rotisserie chicken. The one from Costco works very well, even if it is a little bit on the salty side from time to time. And chop it up into bite-sized pieces. Now that the chicken is ready, time to chop up the four cloves of garlic. Or if you really like garlic flavor like we do, just grate the cloves for the extra oomph of flavor. And don't forget to slice up that lime to get it ready for the squeeze into the sauce later. If you're wondering about the spinach, I'm not going to prep it since I just bought one of those bags of tender baby spinach where it's already been prepped for you. No need to cut it up any smaller than that. And now it's onto the stove where I have set up two quarts of water in a pot and turned on the heat to Ultra power. Ultra power. So that you can cook the pasta to your liking. Just disregard the fact that the package is going to call for four to six quarts of water since that's just simple overkill. Meanwhile, melt the butter in a large skillet over high heat and then add the mushrooms. Then cook the mushrooms till they're nice and brown or about five minutes. And then we're going to take them out and set them aside. Now that the mushrooms are safely out of harm's way, we're going to add one tablespoon of oil to the pan and then the crushed garlic so we can brown it. Once it's done fully browning, we're gonna add a third cup of chicken broth, one teaspoon lime juice, a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and a quarter teaspoon poultry seasoning. And then stir the ingredients together to combine them and let the mixture come to a nice roaring bubble. At this point, my pasta water was at a roiling boil, so it was time to dump in the eight ounces of rigatoni and let it cook while finishing the chicken sauce mixture. Now back to the sauce. We're gonna add the mushrooms back in, the chicken, five ounces of spinach, and one cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna cook this mixture till it's bubbly and the spinach has wilted, stirring occasionally and creating a tasty, creamy sauce. If the pasta isn't finished cooking yet, Turn the heat down to a simmer and wait for the awesome pasta to be ready. To drain the pasta, I use the Snap and Strain Strainer, which I like a lot. Link to the Amazon page in the description below. Which is a very convenient way to strain anything that was in a pot, like potatoes when making mashed potatoes. Once the rigatoni is bone dry, I'm going to add it to the tasty, flavorful sauce and stir till well combined. And the rigatoni is moist again. Then it's a good idea to taste this to see if it needs anything else. Like an idiot, I forgot to add the salt and pepper even though I moved it really close to the pot earlier. But at least I remembered to add in the one half cup of Parmesan cheese and then mix it up so that it all melts together. And now, the taste test. It has a nice creamy flavor. And the seasoning is very good. Very easy to chew. Now, as I said, it's like that cheese. Although it is creamy, I feel like there's also a lot of cheese flavor in this. If you like cheese, I think this would be great for you. Chicken's pretty tender, I would say. The texture of the pasta is good. Yeah, very it's soft. It's not too soft. Wow. It tastes nice. Tender is vegetable. It's not like for me, you can't taste the mushrooms, but I can put up with them. You don't like mushrooms. Yeah, literally. I guess you'd be fine with this. It's a good dish. I don't taste the spinach very much. That's why I think that's good.